Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jessica and I will be guiding you through a yoga for sore muscles. This is an all levels practice and you will be needing a strap for today's flow. If you don't have a strap, that's okay. You can grab a belt, a workout band, or even a strap from a house coat. We will begin today in a comfortable seat with your right leg in front of your left. Close down or soften your gaze. Sit up nice and tall. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And we'll start with a few cleansing breaths in through the nose, side out the mouth. Twice more. Letting go of the day you've had before. and anything that doesn't serve you in this moment. Come to a natural breath rhythm, breathing in and out through the nose. You can keep your eyes closed or you can open them up. Sit up nice and tall and walk your hands forward fold you can come to your hands or to your forearms. Keep your sit bones planted to the mat, folding down any amount. Allow your spine to round, your head to be heavy. Five breaths here. gaze forward slightly walk your hands back in twist to the left left hand to right knee right hand behind you inhale lift up nice and tall and exhale twist a little deeper maybe gazing over your right shoulder take an inhale here and exhale deepen a little more Take another breath and exhale, release back to center. Switch the cross of your legs so that your left leg is now in front of your right. Sit up nice and tall and walk your hands forward any amount. Either staying up on your palms or coming down to forearms. Maybe you can rest your head on your hands. Let yourself completely relax for five deep breaths. gaze forward walk yourself back up twisting to the right now place your right hand to your left knee left hand behind you inhale lengthen your spine exhale twist take a breath in position exhale a little deeper And on your next breath out, release, coming back through to center. Roll over onto your knees so that you're in a kneeling position. Place your hands behind you so that your fingers are facing forward. Bend your elbows, press them together slightly, and lift your heart up. Maybe gaze up slightly, stretching into the front of the shoulders and into the chest. Exhale, release, grab a hold of your strap and 
You'll want to have it a bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. You may need to adjust it as we go. So you want your hands to be pretty wide here. And on your inhale, lift your arms up overhead, keeping them nice and straight, bringing them slightly behind you until you feel a stretch in your shoulders and in your chest. Take a breath here and exhale lower down. We'll go through this motion a few times. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead until you feel a stretch. And exhale, release down. If you'd like to take this a little bit further, you can lower your hands all the way down. Exhale. Inhale, reach your arms back up overhead. And exhale, lower down. Finding movement with breath. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, lower down either towards your back or forward again. Pausing anywhere that you need to, anywhere that you feel a good stretch. Take a pause, breathe through it. Twice more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Bring the strap back down, place it off to the side for now, and we'll move into a child's pose. Big toes together, knees as far apart as you would like. Sit your hips back towards your heels and walk your hands forward, resting forehead to the mat. Take three breaths here. Lift yourself up slightly and walk your hands over to the right. Really reach through your left hand so that you feel a stretch in the side of your body. Hold on to your wrist with your right hand and lower down. Lean your weight slightly to the left. Keep your hips to your heels and try to deepen your breath in this side bend. On your inhale, lift up, walk your hands over to the left, reach through your right fingertips as far as you can, and then hold on to your right wrist with your left hand Lean your body into your right side, feeling a stretch all the way from your fingertips to your hips, and breathe into it. On your inhale, gaze up. Walk your hands to the center. Lift your hips up, tabletop. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We'll find a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, curl and round your spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, curl and round it in. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Find a neutral spine. Extend your right leg to the side so that your right foot is in line with your left knee. Slightly arch your back, almost like you're in cow pose like we were just doing. Gaze slightly forward until you feel a stretch in your inner right thigh. And we'll start to find some movement. So, so rock forward and back slightly. 
forward and back. And this doesn't have to be a big movement. If you notice that as you come back, you're starting to round your spine, you've gone too far. So just take it as far as you feel comfortable. Come back to stillness somewhere in the center. Walk your hands over to the right. Press your chest down. Lean forward. Getting a bit of a side bend and a deeper stretch into your right thigh. Lift yourself back up. Walk your hands back through to center. Rebend your knee, tabletop. Switching sides now, extend your left leg out to the side, placing your foot in line with your right knee. Arch your back slightly and start to find some rocks forward and back. Feeling a stretch in your left thigh. Walk your hands over to the left so that they are on the diagonal. Sink your hips back, lean forward, melt your chest down. Lift yourself back up. Walk your hands back through to center, tabletop. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it underneath your left, thread the needle. Placing your right shoulder, right ear to the mat. Keep your hips in a neutral position. And you can either keep your left hand by your side or walk it forward to the top of the mat. Place your hand beside you, press into your left palm Reach your right arm back up towards the sky and exhale, lower it down. Press into your right palm. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the sky and exhale, thread it underneath the right, lowering left ear, left shoulder to the mat. Option to keep your right hand as it is or walk it forward to the top of the mat. Lean your weight into the left slightly. Place your hand next to you Press into your palm, reach up, re-extend your left arm to the sky, and exhale, lower down. Walk your hands slightly in front of you, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. You can have a generous bend in your knees here. Your heels do not need to be touching the mat. Press your chest towards your thighs. Spread your fingers nice and wide and bend generously into your right leg. Press into your the back of your left leg. Maybe you pick up your right leg and give your ankle some circles. Lower your right foot down. Bend generously into your left leg. Sit your weight back into your right heel and maybe pick up your left foot, give it a few rolls in either direction. 
plant your foot back down gaze forward slowly step towards the top of the mat taking as many steps as you need forward fold bend generously into your knees relax your head relax your spine now bend even more into your knees place your right foot behind your left bend into your left knee generously folding a little deeper press down into your right or into your left fingertips reach your right arm up towards the sky for a twist exhale release uncross your feet bend generously into your knees so that you can step your left foot behind your right straighten your left leg bend your right knee press down into your right palms inhale reach your left arm up towards the sky for a twist and exhale lower down uncross your legs forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold bend into your knees reach up towards the sky standing hands to heart center mountain pose inhale reach both arms up towards the sky hold on to your left wrist reach your hands up high extending through the spine and exhale side bend to the right inhale come back through to center switch the grasp of your wrist inhale lift up exhale side bend to the left inhale come back up through to center palms together bend at the elbows send your palms to the back of your neck keep your floating ribs pressing down so that they're not flaring open think about squeezing the core gazing forward take a few breaths here on your next exhale slice it down the middle bend at the hips forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant the palms step your left foot towards the back of the mat lower your left knee down low lunge plant your left hand to the mat inhale reach your right arm up towards the sky now option one place your right hand to right knee help guide your chest towards the sky or towards the side inviting a deeper twist option two reach back bend your knee for quad stretch pausing here for three breaths release the hold of your foot if that's the option that you took rotate yourself forward reach your arms up low lunge exhale interlace your hands behind your back press your palms towards each other down and away from your spine reach your heart forward and exhale release the hold heel toe your foot to the left place your right knee to right wrist pigeon pose walk your knee back inhale lengthen the spine exhale forward fold any amount maybe you come to your forearms or you can create a pillow with your hands resting down 10 breaths here
press into your palms start to lift yourself back up and you may want to inch your foot in closer to you lift come up onto your fingertips lift your chest forward squeeze into your left glute so that you feel the stretch now in the front of your left thigh if this is enough of a stretch for you stay here if you'd like to take it a little bit further bend into your left knee staying here or maybe reaching back with your right hand to hold on to your foot keep squeezing your left glutes take three breaths in whichever position you chose remembering that no one position is better than the other listen to your body honor where it's at today carefully release the hold of your foot lower it back down lift yourself up slowly coming out into a tabletop position walk your knees back slightly lower yourself down all the way to the ground forearms to the mat sphinx press into your palms lift out of your shoulders pull your chest forward pubic bone and feet pressing firmly into the mat option to stay here or you can add on a half frog pose walk your knee to the side we'll start with the right side so that your right knee is in line with your hip press into the mat with your feet so that you're not putting undue pressure into your low spine walk your knee back extending your right leg switching sides bending the left knee so it's in line with your hips press into the mat lift yourself up keep pressing your foot and your pubic bone down into the mat gaze forward re-extend your left leg press yourself up downward facing dog reach your tailbone high towards the sky gaze forward step your left foot in towards the top of the mat now lower your right knee down plant your right hand inhale reach your left arm up high towards the sky option one press into your knee twist a little deeper option two reach back bend your knee quad stretch wherever you are take three deep breaths slowly lower your back foot reface the front of the mat reach up low lunge exhale interlace your hands the more unusual way behind your back press your palms away from you open up through your chest and exhale release your hands down to the mat heel toe your foot to the right left knee to left wrist walk your knee back pigeon pose inhale lengthen your spine exhale fold over any amount 10 breaths here
on your next inhale lift yourself up onto your fingertips lengthen your spine squeeze into your right glutes now either staying here if you're feeling a good stretch in the front of your thigh or bend into your right knee maybe grabbing onto your foot with your left hand if you're finding it hard to breathe you've taken it too far let your breath guide you into the movement lower the hold of your foot slowly lift yourself up downward facing dog take your time take a moment to reset when you get here maybe pedal out your legs maybe you choose stillness If you chose to move, come back to stillness now. And gaze forward. Step your right foot to the outside of your right palm. Start to rotate yourself towards the long edge of your mat, walking your hands towards the center. Feet parallel to the short edges of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift up halfway. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. walk your palms over to your right side maybe holding on to your foot or to your ankle pull yourself in towards your right leg deepening the stretch walk yourself over to the left grabbing onto your foot or to your ankle or anywhere that's accessible to you pull yourself in relax the head relax the neck walk your hands back in through to center inhale lift up halfway heel toe your feet so that they're slightly wider than hips width distance heels in toes out lower your hips down to your heels malasana your yogi squat you can keep your hands down to the mat or bring your palms together press your knees open use your hands to guide your hips all the way down coming into a seat soles of the feet to the mat knees bent inhale lift up nice and tall exhale place your left hand behind you right arm to the outside of your left knee inhale lift up nice and tall exhale take a twist Press your left knee into your right arm. Exhale, release, switching sides. Left hand to the outside of your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. release the twist lower down all the way onto your back find your strap grab a hold of it and when you arrive onto your back hold on to your right knee extend your left leg down locate your strap and place it around the ball of your right foot extend your right leg up towards the sky using the strap to pull your foot in closer 
Relax your upper body. Keep a slight knee, a slight bend in your knee. There's always the option to keep a bend in your left leg. And you can hold on to the strap anywhere you feel comfortable. You can have it, hold it up higher or relax your hands down by your side further. Take five breaths here. Transfer the rope to your left hand, or sorry, to your right hand. Use your left hand as a guide beside you into a T. Open your leg out to the right, any amount. You don't have to go far, just enough until you feel a stretch. Keep pressing your left side hip down. Use your left hand now to guide the strap over to the left, inviting a twist, any amount. Take three breaths here. Guide your leg back in through to center. Bend your knee now. Pull your foot down towards you. Half happy baby. Lower your foot back down. Release the strap. Extend your right leg out and bring your left knee in towards your chest. Wrap the strap around your left foot now. Press your heel towards the sky. Pull your leg in any amount. Five breaths here. Place the strap in your left hand, send your right arm into a T and guide your leg to the right, opening it out any amount. Keep your right hip planted to the mat. Now lift your leg up, cross it over to the left finding a supine twist. Your foot does not have to come all the way down to the mat or to the ground. Guide your leg back up, bend into your knee, half happy baby. Release your foot, release the strap, Bend into both knees now. 
Bring your feet close to your hips, close enough that you can brush your fingertips against them. Press your palms into the mat, bridge pose. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower down. Extend your legs out. Keep your hands resting by your side for your final resting pose of Shavasana. Close down or soften your gaze. Relax every muscle in your body. Allow yourself to melt into the mat. I'll call you out in a few minutes.
start to bring some awareness back to your breath. Deepen your inhales and your exhales. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to circle your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up overhead. Big stretch here. And roll over onto any side that you feel comfortable. Resting for a few moments. When you feel ready, press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Rest your hands down by your sides or into your lap. Keep your eyes closed or soften your gaze. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up today, for allowing yourself to do this gentle practice and take time for self-care. Draw your hands together towards heart center. We'll release with a deep breath in through the nose Side out the mouth. <sighs> Bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you did, please leave it a comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.